Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures, soon to be Colorado Gal Treasures. I'll tell you at the end if I'm going to change my name to Colorado Gal Treasures. But as you may have guessed, that's what this video is about. I have been getting a few questions about my eBay store. I thought I'd come on to answer. And if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook or even check out my community tab here on YouTube, you will have seen that we are making a big, big transition, which is why some of these things have been changing on my channel and with my eBay store, my stores being shut down, etc. So I thought, let me come on today and just share what's been going on and the where's and why's and how's of everything because I have been getting quite a few questions, so I thought I'd clear it all up. First thing is how I quit reselling. The answer is absolutely not. I actually just turned my eBay store back on today but because of all of the things that have been going on with deciding about the move and starting to downsize, I had to juggle a lot of things. Uh, so something had to give, and we also were in Colorado for a little over a week, scouting out locations and looking for where we want to live and move. So I couldn't very well sell my stuff while I am in Colorado. Um, so that I ended up putting my eBay, Etsy, everything on vacation mode uh, until I felt like I had my feet back under me when we got back home. So why? Why am I leaving my Texas home that I love so much to move to Colorado? If you don't know, if you don't know me by now, um, I homeschool my kids. So my kids are 12 and 15 and they are at this age that I feel like the, the clock is ticking, right? They're getting older and they're going to be done with me pretty soon. And I, I want to experience and I want them to experience as much as possible. So because we homeschool, we have the luxury and freedom to travel a lot. And we do, we take tons of road trips. We do a lot of what I call road schooling, where we research and do historical projects on different places, create scavenger hunts for ourselves, and then go to these fun places and really it enhances the, the learning experience. So because I enjoy doing that, and we have done so much of that in Texas, that we're kind of running out of places to go, like to get out of with our car. Um, there's only so many times we can go to West Texas, which is beautiful and fantastic. And you know, the Panhandle and all that. Anyway, we've gone and done so much in the state and even up into Arkansas and Louisiana. And even over the summer, we, we did take a big road trip through New Mexico and Colorado and Texas. So, uh, I decided that because Colorado, this is the why, why Colorado, uh, because Colorado has got very similar homeschool laws to Texas. They're, Texas is very, very unrestricted. What's the word I'm looking for? The least restrictive uh, of many of the states as far as homeschool requirements and what you have to do and all of this. I was a public school teacher, so I am a license I went to school for and I got my teaching certificate all the fun stuff so but some states require that some states don't and it's just all of the all the ins and outs of it so Colorado seemed like a really good option for us and it was going to afford us a whole new area to explore and learn about uh yeah so not only that but I've never and my kids have never really lived anywhere cold <laughs> so this is going to be a big adventure for us uh if you follow my instagram i think on instagram and facebook i shared you know when we went to colorado last last week week before last i'm um, the days are running together we uh when we rented the car you guys <laughs> it came with like this brush thing I, and I knew that the other end was a, a scraper for ice okay I'm not dumb but I've never seen one that had like a brush on it like a broom handle and I was like what on earth I mean I figured it out it was for the loose snow and all this the kids had a good time like when because it did actually snow while we were there and I had drove in the snow those of you who are like from Texas and places that don't snow you can actually drive in the snow and it's okay because 
if you live in Texas or places where it just does not snow, if it snows or ices, everything shuts down completely. So I was just like, how do they do this? I guess people go to work and like drive and it's snowing. It's so weird um, because that just doesn't happen in Texas at all. I'm serious. Um, anyway, so I lost my train of thought. All right. So did I quit eBay? No, I actually just turned my store back on. I said that, um, I think because, you know, we were going to be out of town and because we're downsizing and we're packing, I would turn the camera, but it's, there's nothing to see here, but like a dresser boxing everything up and like doing repairs on the house and everything. Uh, I just wanted to kind of hyper-focus in one area until I felt like I had a good grasp on where we were going to be. Okay. So I have everything over in my storage locker. That was another reason my inventory is at our storage unit. So this week and next week, we're going to slowly be bringing things back over here so that I can still ship things out and not feel like I'm having to like rush over to the storage or get stuff and bring it back. That is one thing I'm going to change when we move is that I'm looking for a house with a basement, which we don't have here also. Uh, but I thought if I could get a nice place that had a basement that I could, you know, set up for YouTube and set up all like shipping and station and all this stuff to process everything, that would be ideal. Um, because I don't really, I'm not keen on having the storage, but I just, my inventory got to be so much that it was kind of hard to manage at home. So that's that. Uh, okay. So why I covered that, where are we moving? So we are moving to Colorado. We're looking around the Denver area. I wanted something that felt very similar to what we have, which is another reason we chose Colorado. We, uh, you know, I'm a city, city suburb girl. I, you know, grew, I was in Houston for most of my life. Then we moved to Austin and even compared to Houston, Austin is small compared to Houston. So, uh, by a lot. So I just still wanted to feel like we had the same kind of amenities that we were used to because we homeschool. I want us to be able to go to a good library system and a museum system and all of that. Um, because there are beautiful areas in Colorado, but you know, creature comforts. Unfortunately, there's no HEBs. If you're from Texas, you know what I'm talking about. No HEBs, no Bucky's yet. Crossing my fingers. Um, so, okay. Why, where, how, how I have notes, obviously. So how we're working this is we're continuing our homeschooling every day and trying to keep the kids lives as normal as possible. This is super important to me. So their rooms have been downsized, but we haven't started packing up in their rooms yet. Trying to keep that normal. Um, I'm going to bring the inventory home so I can continue to ship out for as, as long as I can. And we're planning on renting this house. And then that way, <laughs> that way, if we think after a while that this was a really bad idea, it may only take one winter for us to realize, why did we do this? Uh, and then they want to come home. So we would still have our home to come to. Uh, so we're going to go there and rent for now and see how it goes. And then kind of go from there uh, with everything. But I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty optimistic about it. Uh, we've been doing a lot of different research on different things to do as far as homeschooling and things we could do, uh, which is really important to me because my kids are everything and their future is everything. So what else was I gonna say about that? Oh, and when we were there, I did do some thrifting. Um, we had thrifted some when we went a few times before, uh, to Denver. Juan and I went on a trip to visit friends and see some bands play. And then we went this summer and in, we drifted in Denver and found some cool stuff. And then this time uh, I'd been hearing really good things about the thrifting in Colorado Springs. So we drove over there cause it's still really not that far. It's like an hour or something. Not, not really. I, for being from Houston, you can drive an hour and still be halfway through Houston. <laughs> So it's to me not a big deal to drive an hour to get somewhere. Uh, but the thrifting in Colorado Springs was fantabulous, you guys. I wasn't planning on bringing anything home, but I'll pop up a quilt that I found there. 
I wasn't planning on packing anything home, but I found this quilt at a thrift store in Colorado Springs for $30 and I had to bring it home. So I actually don't know that I'm going to sell it. I just need to clean it up. There's a little damage on the back, but it's something that's, I feel comfortable enough to kind of stitch up a little bit. Uh, but it's, it's something I'm going to keep, I think, because it's so bright and sunshiny and, and makes me happy. Uh, but there was so much, the thrift stores there were just packed and I've heard that it's a big retirement community there, but I also know that there's the air force academy or something. There's some air force something there. That's a military thing. And, um, yeah. So I think because maybe there's a lot of people coming and going that when they move, they offload stuff or when they, I don't know. So the, we went to three different thrift stores there and it was, I was just like, I kept singing this, the Annie song. I think I'm gonna like it here. Right. Um, <laughs> while I was looking around at everything. So pretty good. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Uh, the name change will not happen. I will absolutely always be Texas gal treasures. I always think of like Molly Ringwald and ducky and pretty and pink and he's all gussied up at the end and he says he will always be the the duck man or whatever and he's got his little ducky shoes on i will always be the texas gal treasures so no name change no colorado gal treasures and i'm sorry my colorado people i have a really hard time saying colorado and i know that's how you say it but it just doesn't come out of my mouth like that so have mercy and also, uh, the few comments, that I've, uh, most of the comments I've gotten have been really positive. Some of them have, I mean, I guess I keep, people are just like wanting to warn me about stuff, um, about violence and like it's expensive and things like that. It, it's fairly expensive in Austin. I mean, I know comparatively speaking, Texas is pretty cheap, but the prices of things have gone up, I think, kind of everywhere. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, eh we'll make it happen. I mean, we don't need a lot, a lot. And you know, we'll, we'll be fine as far as that goes. And then being from the city, like I know there's crime and homeless and you know, it's just, it's everywhere now. So I appreciate the concern. I'm trying to stay positive because it is a little stressful. Any kind of changes and moves and things like that are stressful and you second guess yourself. But I mean, if not now, when, right, my kids are going to be I mean, my eldest is going to be 18 in two and a half years. So if I don't do these things now, it's not that we can't ever travel together, can't do things like that, but it's like right now it's like the sweet spot where they're old enough to really enjoy. They still want to hang out with me and be around me and do stuff. And yeah, so it's, it's a fun, it's, it's a fun adventure for us and I'm excited about it. And I hope if you are in Colorado and you see me just you know say howdy howdy Margaret glad you're here and um yeah it's gonna be a little culture shock but I'm excited all right let me know your thoughts your whatnots and your yeah your well wishes hopefully for me and any advice you might have by the way for like winter stuff and cold things I mean I guess I need a snow blower is that something I need a snow blower or I don't even know. We went into a house that we were looking at to rent and, and it was like the toilet was wrapped up and it says, don't use this bathroom. It's been winterized. And I'm just like, what on earth does this mean? I, they must use the bathroom, but maybe just cause the house was empty. They had to win. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> never too, never too soon to learn. All right. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.